Hello everybody. Today's video we're going to be talking about harvesting vinegar eels uh, from the mother culture using the long neck bottle method. This is an extremely easy method to use and a very effective method. So effective as a matter of fact that if you're culturing out of a um, wine bottle such as this one you don't want to harvest like this from your culture because you will over harvest. Um, I always recommend if you're going to be culturing from a wine bottle like that then you use a small soda bottle like this one uh, for harvesting uh, or if you're using a half gallon pickle jar like I do then you can use the wine bottle for harvesting. I mean, you can use a soda bottle for harvesting as well but uh, I have lots of fry so I use my wine bottle for harvesting so I can harvest lots and lots of vinegar eels from the half gallon jug. So let's get started, shall we? Uh, today's cameraman is going to be Joey. Say hi, Joey. Hi. He's my oldest, and he is a very good cameraman. So I'll hand the camera over to Joey, and he will do all the work from here. OK, as I said, I make my cultures from the half gallon uh, pickle jars. Um, I fill them right up to the curvature of the bottle. Uh, a lot of times I don't even have to uh, do the long neck bottle method. Most of the times there's eels crawling all over this inner edge here and I can just go right in there and swipe them off with my finger and swish it in the tank and that works out real well as well. But when I need a lot of them then I have to do the long neck bottle method. Um, so let's get started. Um, First you're going to need is a fishing string. Um, I take a fish, piece of fishing string and tie it to a small piece of filter floss. Um, I just used a regular old uh, blue and white filter floss material. You can buy this at any aquarium shop. Or you can use the poly material. Uh, just that white fluffy stuff that looks like cotton. Um, you can use that as well. What you're going to want to do is cut a piece. Um, you know, cut a piece and just make a test fit. You want it to fit in the neck, um, not very tightly, but enough to hold itself in place. Um, you know, just like that. That slides in and out very easily, but not really, really tight. Um, then you're just going to tie a piece of fishing string right to it, uh, just like I've done here. Um, and um, that you'll use in a minute. Uh, now that you've got that done, you can go ahead and take your your culture and fill the bottle. You're going to want to fill the bottle right up into the bottom of the neck. Um, and you'll see here. Just take that. Now that we've got our culture right up to the very bottom of the neck, you can go ahead and insert your filter floss. Uh, the string will help you retrieve the filter floss when we're done, which is why we tie the string to it. I just use something to kind of push it right to the bottom there, so it just touches the, the culture. Uh, now to that, you want to add a little bit of water. Uh, to fill the neck the rest of the way up. You want to stay about between uh, you know, a quarter to a half of an inch from the top because again the eels will come up higher than the surface of the water so you don't want them to come right on out if you filled it up all the way to the top. Uh, pour it in very slowly so you don't mix the water and the vinegar. So just like that. Okay, now you can see I have about two inches or so of just fresh water. Uh, what's going to happen is the eels are going to be looking for oxygen. And to do that, they're going to go all the way to the very top to find that oxygen. And since we've 
force them through the screen and into the fresh water, you can easily take a, a pipette or a, a turkey baster and then just suck those eels right on out and you can feed that directly to your tank. Um, it's usually going to take about 12 to 24 hours for the eels to make the journey through the filter floss and into your freshwater chamber here. So I usually fill, set this up at night and in the morning it's usually got enough eels for me to um, harvest and feed to my fry. If you want to get a lot of eels out then you can let it go longer. Obviously the longer you let it sit the more eels are going to make their way out. Uh, if you let it sit for about 24 hours or so you can harvest almost every eel in the culture which is why I don't suggest that you try to harvest from a wine bottle culture. A lot of people culture their vinegar eels in a wine bottle like this so if that's what you're doing do not harvest it this way. You always want to pour no, you know, your liquid into a smaller vessel such as this one if you're harvesting from the wine bottle. Um, I'd say never pour out more than half of your har your your culture to harvest. Uh, that way, you will always be assured that your your culture will continue to give you harvest after harvest. Um, and that's about it. We'll leave this alone for uh, for about 24 hours or so, and um, I'll show or actually about 12 hours, and we'll come back in the morning and we'll show you what it looks like, and uh, we'll show you how to harvest from there. Um, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for part two.